College is not who you are. It is where you go to build your skills, ability, and knowledge. Students who take advantage of all that college has to offer, including a chance to learn more about themselves, their desired subject matter, and the world, are prime for success. Hi, I'm Margaret Meek, and this is why your college choice doesn't define you. After putting a great deal of effort and energy into your college applications and selection, it can seem as if your choice defines you. That feeling becomes even more pronounced as you are repeatedly asked, where are you going to college? It can be hard to separate who you are from the reputation of the school, yet there is no correlation between your future success and the name or reputation of your college. A 2014 Gallup-produced study found that the reputation or selectivity of the college you attend is not as important as how well you perform in the college and how well you take advantage of the opportunities available to help you grow. As stated by Mitch Daniels, the president of Purdue University, our study clearly indicated that it wasn't so much where you go to college as much as it is how you go to college, what you extract from the college experience. Students and their families make a significant investment in college, and it should be done with eyes wide open. So when you get your acceptance letters, don't think about what the school is. Think about who you are. Think about what that school has to offer you. And make your decisions based on the parameters you can control. I can't say this strongly enough. Don't make your college decisions to impress others. Make it to enhance you and your future goals. Getting accepted to and attending an elite college does not mean that the education you receive is an automatic passport to success. Conversely, attending a college with a large acceptance rate or a party school reputation does not mean that you are sacrificing a financially secure or professionally successful future. You see, no matter what school you attend, the crucial component of your ultimate success, no matter what college you attend, is you. The vital component of your future achievements is your ability to take advantage of all that is offered at any college you attend. Your willingness to be exposed to new ideas and opportunities, to get to know the faculty and take full advantage of all they have to teach you, and to get involved is more important than the brand name of the school you select. Earning great grades, becoming involved in organizations and internships that prepare you for your desired future, and your willingness to bring new ideas and people into your life will mean more to the determination of your prospects than any other factor. Getting involved at a level that helps you meet and interact with as many students, faculty, staff, and graduates as possible is critical to pursuing your desired field and lifestyle after college. So, are there advantages to selecting an Ivy League or a highly selective school versus any other school? Honestly, yes, especially for some students. There are some advantages to the network of alumni and alumnae. Some employers believe that the education level provided in the elite school is significant enough to get you in the employment door. When it comes to women, racial minorities, and other underrepresented populations, the boost that comes from attending one of these schools can be significant. The upward mobility of these students is enhanced by attending a selective college. Yet, several studies show that while the initial boost to employment and pay prospects straight out of an elite college is a benefit, parity in upward mobility and pay is achieved between motivated, passionate, and active graduates of any college within a few years. With the reduced cost of attending a less selective school, the cost of prestige can become less attractive. And in many cases, the cost and acceptance rates put such colleges out of reach. When you decide what colleges to apply to and which one college to accept, make sure you are selecting the best college for your current situation and your future. You are the only person who has to be happy with your decision. Where you go to school does not define you. The bottom line is that you should consider what you need and what the college has to offer. To balance the reputation and offerings of the school with your needs in a college, here are some factors you need to take into account. What is important to you in the selection of a college? Beyond the name or rankings or reputation of the school, what does it have to offer you? Remember that the quality of the academic department is more important than the ranking of the entire college. If you want to attend the best college in the nation, select the best college for your desired academic major, 
not the college that the rankings say is the best overall college. Who you are is as important as what you want to be when you grow up. In other words, you need to make sure that you are comfortable at the school with the housing, extracurricular offerings, priorities of the school, and whether or not you are comfortable within the community. How will the cost of that college affect your debt load upon graduation? Will the personal debt you owe after graduation exceed what you can afford to pay based on your chosen profession's average salary? Attending an elite university may gain you an edge in salary upon graduation, but the cost of attending that school will be a significantly larger burden. Can the school help you with those costs? If not, is that extra debt worth those costs? Pay special attention to the offerings of the Career Center on campus. Their ability to attract quality employers, assist in preparing you for the market, and the extent of their networking reach will be critical as you near graduation. If you need a master's degree in your field, is it more strategic to attend a less selective yet substantial undergraduate school and then earn your master's at a more exclusive school? This can be especially important if your high school grades and test scores don't support your selection at an elite school. Your college performance can earn you a place in a graduate program that is more selective. When you are asked, where are you going to go to college? Remember that where you go doesn't define you. Who you are and the work you're willing to do for your future does. If you found any of this information useful, please hit the like button or perhaps consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below.